Hi guys, I wanted to do a really quick video for y'all since it has been so long. I know, I am so sorry. The school has been really hectic this semester and I felt guilty if I'm doing anything else but studying for school. So, that's my excuse. My BFF is going to be so excited because I'm actually doing a video. But, um, I thought it would be perfect to start off with November favorites. Can you believe it? It's December! I love December because my birthday's in December and of course Christmas. I mean, who doesn't love Christmas? Sorry, my daughter is in the background playing. I'm in her little room, her playroom, I guess, or my study room. But, um, yeah, so let's get started, I guess. Let's just get into it. Um, I've been loving brown eyeliner. This one in particular is the 24-7. Um, it's a duo thing. It came with the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. It's half black and half brown, but I love the brown side. It is so creamy. It is called Whiskey, but I love this color. It is perfect. It's natural. I love it. The so next thing I have been loving is this Falsies Mascara. The wand. I'm sure y'all have all seen this a billion and one times. The wand is kind of spoon, spoon, spoon shaped like that. I love it. I mean, it doesn't make your eyelashes look false, but they do look pretty good. I mean, I have really crappy eyelashes, but look at mine. <laughs> so, I mean, let's see if I can close them. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes it look really good and really black and long and, I mean, I love it. I mean, this is my new favorite mascara, as of right now, at least. Um, the next thing I have been loving... Was, is this Clinique little palette. It's like a trio, I guess. It comes with how to do it. I know I don't want to blind you, but it says like one, two, three, like the steps where you're supposed to put it. But anyway, it comes with these three colors. A base, um, sorry, <laughs> a base, a, which is like a really soft pink. I mean, you can barely tell that it has any pink to it at all. And then a contour color, which is a pretty purple sheer color. Oh, let's try this. It's really pretty. It's really subtle. It's great for like hazel or greenish, even light brown eyes. It really brings them out. And then this um, definer color, it's like a brown with little specks of bronze in it. It is really pretty. And they're really pigmented. It was a gift in one of the... Um, free gifts when you spent so much money there or whatever but I really like it. It does come with brushes also that say one two three also um I mean and they're decent brushes but you know I like my Sigma brushes so yeah I've been really liking that palette. I'm actually wearing it today you probably can't even tell but <laughs> I am wearing them um another thing I have been loving is this brush by Sigma this is an awesome brush. I do recommend you to get this if you wear foundation. It is dirty because I just did put on my foundation. But it is the Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80. It is so soft and so dense. And I really love this brush. Um, They do have a new pack where it's this brush, a angled brush that's like dense like this, and... um. A round top I believe and I wish they had that before because I would have so got that instead of just this one but they didn't so um, I'm sticking with this for now and it is amazing like I do not put foundation on with anything else but this now like this is my number one brush <laughs> um, the next thing I have been loving is concealer finals are they start on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this coming week. And so I've been, like, having really bad bags. I'm usually not um, a circle person. Like, I usually don't have dark circles, but I do have a little bit. I mean, so this particular concealer is a select cover-up in NW25 from MAC. It is, I mean, like, I'm wearing it today. You can, It doesn't get cakey. It's sheer enough to put how much you want. You can build it up if you need more coverage. I love this concealer. Um, 
I do recommend it if you're looking for a matte concealer. This is a good one. The last, no, not the last. <laughs> Another one is um, this Cream Sheen in Delight. It is such um, a lip but better color. Um, it's kind of a pinkish brown, but it isn't dark at all. It's just naturally your lip color, but a lip gloss. So I really love this formula. The Cream Sheens, as I said before, are my all-time favorite. And this is a perfect color for my lips. But I have really pigmented lips. Um, the last beauty-related item is this Yes to Carrot Eye and Face Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. They do have another one, but my Target didn't have it. They only have this one, so I got this. Um, it's the top looks like this. What, baby? <laughs> Sorry, but um, it's kind of weird because when you're putting it on your face, it's like lotion. So it's like putting lotion on your face and then you wash it off. But when you wash it up, it doesn't give you like a greasy feeling. It's like a clean feeling. And I really love it. It takes off everything. And I'm loving this long wear um, foundation right now. I only have the sample size. But I'm hoping to get the um, full container before I show it to you guys. But anyway... It even takes that off, and it's supposed to last like 18 hours, that foundation, or 16 or something like that. But anyway, this is an amazing makeup remover. It's like $9 maybe, something like that. Um, yes, two carrots. It's all natural. It's really good. It doesn't burn your eyes, doesn't anything like that. I love that stuff. If you're looking for a drugstore makeup remover, that is definitely it. Um, I do have two things that are not beauty related. The first thing is anything that smells like holiday <laughs> but this in particular is a pumpkin spice candle it smells really awesome I suggest if you have a Walmart by you they are five dollars five dollars for one of these and it is how big is this for 20 ounces 20 ounces for this and it is five dollars and it's pumpkin spice it smells to die for um so I love all things I also have the wallflowers but I don't know the names of them because they're actually plugged in my walls right now but the ones that smell like spicy kind of pumpkin-y sweet those are my favorite oh my gosh I'm obsessed <laughs> and the last last thing I have for you is this book it's called shiver um I actually saw it from a guru here on YouTube. Uh, uh, here on YouTube, her name is um, Mariex or something. Anyway, I'll have her linked down below. <laughs> she um, did like a little vlog on this book, so of course I went to go get it. I finished this like in two weeks. Like it is so good. It's about wolves. I know vampires, wolves, but it is really good and it is so addicting. They do have another one. The second part, Linker, that I'm so going to go get as soon as I have a chance. And hopefully I finish that before it, um, the fall, no, the spring semester starts. <laughs> and I heard they're also supposed to be making this into a movie, but not until like 2012 or something. But anyway, I do, if you're looking for a good book to read, this one is so good. My husband was like, you're reading again? Are you kidding? <laughs> but yeah, I love this book. So that's it guys, that's pretty much quick favorites video. Um, if you don't have any questions or if you want to tell me any of your favorites, go ahead and link them down below. Um, I've missed y'all so much. <laughs> um, I hope y'all have a great month of December and happy holidays to whatever you celebrate if it's not Christmas. Um, happy holidays and good luck with finals if you're in college. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.